Yeah, hey, it's Jose Jafarji from SavvyRealEstateInvestor.com. I'm suffering from a bad cold last week, so uh, just uh, this week I got my voice back. It's kind of funny how uh, when you don't have your voice, you can't do a lot of whole business or talk on the phone. And uh, really, it's a good time for me to catch up on some uh, rest and uh, relaxation as well. So anyways, um, <clears throat> you know, I've been uh, getting a lot of questions from my clients and uh, potential clients as far as, hey, what do you think 2018 is going to uh, kind of hold to the real estate market? And that's a, that's a great question. I feel that from a fundamental, economic fundamental point of view, we've got a lot of uh, good things going on for the GTA market. And I don't think that the, the market is going to crash as they were predicting in 2017, especially after the new mortgage rules. So uh, I recently read a BBC article and uh, it explained that uh, there has been a tremendous amount of immigration coming into the GTA over the last um, uh, five years. So this data was 2011 to 2016, and it, it said that 1.2 million new immigrants came into Canada in that five-year time frame. So if you break it down into five years, uh, per year, that's approximately 240,000 new people moving into Canada every single year. Now, Majority of those were moving into uh, larger urban cities like Montreal, Vancouver, and of course uh, the Greater Toronto area. And what they said was that 50%, nearly 50%, were in the GTA. So if you extrapolate the numbers further, that's 120,000 new immigrants uh, coming into the uh, GTA market every single year. So of course, our, our demand uh, for our rentals and for our real estate is going to not decrease anytime soon, as, as, uh, as, as, as especially because of the immigration. Uh, the second reason is because of uh, we are still at a fairly low, in, uh, low interest rate environment. Uh, although we've had a few rate increases uh, in 2017, but uh, we're still looking at about uh, high twos in terms of 2.75 to 3 for variable rates and uh, between 3 and 3.3 for uh, fixed rates. So money is still fairly cheap to borrow, especially for real estate investors and for homeowners, and that's going to drive our growth even further. Um, I don't expect to see double-digit growth in 2018. However, uh, the third reason I'm also uh, you know, optimistic about the, the market in 2018 is because of, uh, you know, if you look at our map, uh, the greater Toronto area, the Golden, Ho Golden Horseshoe area, we are landlocked by one side being Lake Ontario and the other side being uh, the Green Belt. So, you know, if you look at majority of the developers right now, they're all going high rise because land is becoming more and more expensive and becoming more and more scarce. So um, we are, you know, we don't have a lot of land uh, available left uh, to for for building new housing uh, because of the green belt uh, that we have around uh, surrounding most of the GTA and the Golden or Horseshoe area. So hopefully that's something to think about uh, and uh, changes your perspective on things. If you want to reach out to me with a phone consultation or just to discuss on uh, your investing options, I'll be happy to do so. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Take care.